Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV. Now, today I've got a bunch of interesting images to show you. I'm not going to show you all of these now because this will take way too long. I'm just going to concentrate on a couple of these. Now, if you follow the links in the description, there will be links to these Gigapans here, these top five here, on my Gigamacro site, right? So you can either follow the main link or individual links to these, right? But these are the ones to look at, the ones at the top here, the top five. And I've got a couple of these already lined up for you. Now, basically, this is insane. Now, what I think these may be are giant vine plants on the surface of Mars, right? Now, this gets interesting because depending on which ones you look at, sometimes they don't look like plants. Sometimes they look more like cracks in the ground. And depending on which colour images you pick, whether they're in colour or whether they're in infrared and blue or black and white, they can look quite different, okay, depending on which ones you pick. This is why here I've got the RGB, which is very red. This is the RGB version. And this is the infrared, red and blue version. Now, the infrared, red and blue version is much closer to what the actual colour is. It's not exact but it's way closer than the RGB. The RGB, for some reason, has quite a heavy red filter on it. You can see part of that filter at the top here, okay? And uh, this one seems to be a lot more natural looking and is the sort of typical brownish color that we get on a lot of the Mars surface. So I would say this is way closer, okay? So, but you can check out the different ones by going here if you click on this NASA link at the top here on the Gigapan page, this will take you to the page where these images are. And you can pick different types. You can pick black and white, IRB. If you click on the IRB color one, it actually says unfiltered. So this is the closest you're going to get to the actual color of the surface. There's a reason they use a lot of these different color filters. Uh, for scientific reasons, but also I think a lot of it is the high greenery. Uh, by making everything red or orange looking, it removes the green from the image and makes it harder for you to work out what you're looking at sometimes. So what I've done here, I've got these two here lined up and I've, I've marked some of these things in the image for you to compare. Now let's start with the top one here. This is astonishing. Now this is the RGB one, which is very red, but this one the IRB version is much more natural looking and is much closer to the real colour. And you can see here what looks like a giant plant on the ground with branches coming out from the central area here. This is large. This isn't one of the larger ones. This is one of the smaller ones, okay? And if we go down here to the next one, we've got a whole bunch of them together and they average in size about 200 meters across and a lot of them seem to join up and some are 300 meters, some are 100, some are 200 but on average they're around 200. Now these stains on the ground, these dark stains are probably where carbon dioxide has frozen and left a sort of mark on the ground. Now often these show up as black but like I said a lot of these images are not real color now, in, in this one, the dark areas show up as dark, kind of red colour, really dark. But in many of the images we see of Mars, they turn up as black stains. Now, I've shown a lot of these before. And NASA's explanation for these is they're caused by carbon dioxide freezing and leaving a sort of black deposit on the surface, okay? Because it's very, very cold a lot of the time. And that's perfectly fine. But what I think they're caused by is carbon dioxide but the reason why we're getting these patches of carbon dioxide in these areas is because there are plants here which are giving out bursts of carbon dioxide or emissions of carbon dioxide okay and I think these are some of the plants and the reason why we get these dark patches of, of carbon on the ground is because these plants are breathing out carbon, carbon dioxide. 
and when carbon dioxide gets extremely cold it freezes and leaves a kind of black stain and we see this all over Mars especially in the sort of polar regions where it's very very, very cold. There it is in, in the sort of red colour but this is much more accurate this colour here and I've brightened these up these come quite dark. Now if you look at this one it's highly complex and if you go in close you can see a lot of detail here of these branches and they are absolutely stunning and there's loads of them in rows okay they seem to grow or appear in long patches or rows like spider plants or like vines or like other types of plants we get on earth and when you go to the bottom of the image they get very pasted they're a lot smaller down here and they're kind of white and gray and not as prominent okay and a lot of them do look like cracks in the ground depending on how you look at them but I don't think a lot of them are I think a lot of them I think some of them are but I think these larger ones up here seem to be giant plants on the surface absolutely enormous some of these like a sort of parasitic kind of plant would grow they grow along the ground like moss or lichen would or or even types of fungi uh, that grow along the ground um, and they sort of link together and sprout in long rows like we have here where we have a whole row of them there and another whole row here so they grow a bit like kind of spider plants or vines or something like that and they're absolutely amazing now I got them up here so we can really get in close this is that smaller one to the top of the image and I've zoomed right into it so you can see the complexity of this stuff where we have intertwining branches or roots and branches coming right out from the central area and I've left the scale on here 50 meters is that bit there just so you can see I'll put more clips of these in at the end in a minute for you to, to really look at and, and uh, check out but you can see that th this isn't just cracks in the ground these are highly complex kind of branches with smaller branches coming off and on the central part here you can actually see where they're kind of overlapping and intertwined with each other interweaved highly complex stuff this looks like an alien life form in other words these look to be giant plants of some sort on the surface and when I first looked at it I, I thought they were trees because when you look at it from further back that's kind of what they look like they look like trees from above with no leaves on but they're not sticking up like trees because they don't have a trunk they are literally like a parasitic growth on the ground coming out from a central area with branches coming and radiating outwards and often joining up to other ones like we have here and these dark patches according to NASA are caused by carbon dioxide freezing which I agree with but I think the carbon dioxide is coming from these giant vine plants on the surface and that's what's causing a lot of them now in other areas um, I have shown um, other areas similar to this but not as close up this is the closest I've ever seen these now we've often seen these and I have shown them before in videos like this this is a video I did a year and a half ago called Mars spiders Mars giant spider plants and alien alcohol now there's also these giant gourd things which I showed about a year ago as well a year and a half ago and these are like cacti or gourds or something but in other areas like here we have these things on the ground which NASA calls spiders I didn't make that name up they called them spiders and I said years ago before this even uh, but in this particular video I said that I think these are, are plants that live on the surface and then often get covered in dust and uh, ice and snow and then freeze and go dormant but when they defrost I think this is what they look like when they defrost right without all the ice and and uh, frozen material on top of them because this is a different time of year now what I did now this area is called Bilbao this is what NASA called it and there's one from a different angle here this is what it looks like 
orientated north, like this, okay? And they still look like trees or plants. And in this one, they seem to have shadows, as if they're much higher up, in other words, off the grain, right? Look at that. Absolutely incredible. And the branches are kind of a whitish gray, almost like they're bleached in the sun. Quite amazing. Uh, they're absolutely stunning. And I could go on all day about these and show you loads and loads of different ones. Um, but I'm not going to because it would take way too long. But just come along, check out the links, have a look yourself and zoom in. It's a nice one here at the top, these dark patches. They're incredible and I'm quite shocked by them, how much detail there is. And we, like I've said, I've shown these spider formations before and I do think, and I have thought for quite some time, these are plants, but I've never seen them up this close. And they're even bigger than the giant cat's eye gourd type things, which I showed. I called them initially in my first video of these, I called them giant veg. Now these are incredible. And they range between about 50 to 300 meters wide. Now 300 meters is nearly a thousand feet. It's 984 feet or something like that, right? Now most of these are around 100 meters across, 120, 100 maybe 200, okay, the giant veg. And these seem to be breeding on the surface. And you can actually see the vines going between them here, here. And if you use a magnifier, this is a high res image, so you can check them out here. If you use the hover zoom magnifier. You can see here, they've got kind of leaves coming off and, and uh, vines joining them up, which also go into the ground. But these thicker tubes here are babies being born. They have these birthing tubes and the smaller ones appear in these tubes and then the tubes gradually uh, disappear and then you get a whole line of these things, okay? So I do recommend you come onto this uh, website here, artadian.tv, my website, and check out this page. This page is called uh, Mars Plants and Water, okay? and uh, these are giant, okay, absolutely huge. And you can see two together here. When they birth, you get two of them joined together, then they have a birthing tube and smaller ones come out, okay. And these are a similar size to what I'm showing you today, the, the giant spiders, right, these things. But this is the first time I've showed them this close. And this is what they look like, up close. Because often these are covered in, like I said, often these are covered in ice and snow and frozen over for much of the year. Uh, but only for a, a few months in the summer would they be clear of ice. I mean, they're absolutely incredible. And even in the red, which isn't the actual colour, they look absolutely amazing. Look at that. Also, bear in mind, they called it Bilbao. Now, Bilbao is a place in Spain. I've not been there, but I have been to Spain many times. Uh, it's in northern Spain and is a mountainous forested region, okay? You can look at it on Google Earth, have a good look at it. It's covered in sort of shallow mountains which are covered in forests and trees. And from above, looks very much like this. So check it out. If you, want to, if, if you don't believe me, go on Google Earth, go to Bilbao, northern Spain, right on the northern coast almost near, right near where it joins France, southern France. Bilbao there, look around Bilbao, not the actual city. Look around it, this mountainous area covered in trees. Trees and forests, okay? And this is kind of what it looks like. So that may be why they called these areas Bilbao, or this area. This is all in the same area, obviously. And uh, some of them are closer images, some of them are further back, but I picked out the best ones. And there are more on my main page here. I won't go through all these now because you can follow the links yourself and check these out. But I do recommend what you can do is you can get uh, this one here and then this one and you can actually line them up to compare the different colour filters that they put on these. Well, this is filtered red and this one isn't. This is infrared, red and blue, which is very close to the actual colour. 
Um, this is probably slightly yellower than this in reality, and maybe greener, okay? This is why we don't normally get normal color images from Mars, because they want to hide the greenery. Large areas of Mars go green every year, and this is a cover-up that's been going on since the 50s, 60s. We've known about this, and uh, it's one of the biggest cover-ups of all time. And uh, there are plants on the surface. Some of them are very strange. Some of them are huge like this. I mean, this small, this one here is one of the smaller ones. And it's, it's huge. It's about 200 metres across. And it's not even the largest one. Some of them are three or 400. But on average, they're about two or three, like this one. So smash that like button. Clips coming up now.